We're discussing the upcoming virtual federal Conservative Party of Canada convention that's happening. It's a policy convention, and it's happening this weekend. Uh, whether you're a delegate, you're an observer, or perhaps you're just a lay person who doesn't know exactly what's going on, well, I want to tell you one of the more interesting things that happen at a convention is to observe who's organizing what. And tonight, we're going to be speaking to just one of those organizers, Dr. Teresa Pierre president of Parents as First Educators. So Dr. Teresa Peer, first of all, thank you for joining me. Uh, you have had boots on the ground and you've been uh, rolling up your sleeves and organizing for this convention, this policy convention. Why, explain to our viewers, why would you get involved in something like this? Well, um, we thought that we saw a good opportunity here, just as we had uh, back in 2018 when we got involved in the Ontario PC convention. And at that convention, uh, we had hundreds of people participating. And uh, to the extent that some of the resolutions that we were supporting got 80% support in the room. Wow. So it was really, um, it was really great. And we have rec uh, recruited um, hundreds and more this time around. So uh, we're off to a good start. Um, but the larger question, I think, is probably what you're asking, like, why, what's the motive? What's the motive? So right. you're just a your parent group, um, you know, well, we're, we're concerned about our kids. We're concerned about the culture. Uh, if Justin Trudeau has his way, there's very serious consequences that are going to be paid on future generations. And we really want to um, reorient things, uh, bring the culture in a different direction. And that's why we're doing it. Okay, very interesting. Uh, so what specifically do you feel can be accomplished at this convention? Do you feel that the party has room to adopt some policies that maybe you put forward or, or what's going on with that? Uh, well, there are three types of things that uh, go on at a convention and one of them is policy and it's called a policy convention. Um, as well, they pass constitutional amendments which uh, govern how the party is uh, is governed, and lastly, they elect uh, part of the administrative fun uh, structure of the party, uh, the people that are called national councillors. So we are um, trying to have an impact in all of these areas. When the party was considering uh, different policy resolutions, we threw our support behind a number of them, and many of them unfortunately didn't make it through to the policy convention and uh, unaccountably instead of the hundred or so policies that appeared uh, in the um, uh, the plenary meetings at past conventions there are only 34 going on to this convention right. and uh, people are not too happy about that all of the work that went on to support these resolutions um, there are some that are interesting and we have our eye on for instance a policy to promote freedom of speech on campus. It would provide financial incentives to universities that subscribe to the Chicago principles. And if you're not familiar with that, they are principles that govern freedom of speech, freedom of expression. Um, okay. So that's one example. Um, as well, in the constitutional amendment um, arena, uh, we have some that, that we're looking at um, as well. Um, so, per, for instance, there is going to be a one uh, a change, a proposed change of wording to support progressive social policy and uh, instead of uh, the, the what's there now, which says a compassionate social policy. So okay. we don't really want to be turning the clock back <laughs> to the days of the, you know, 1993 uh, and progressive, pro progressivism. So we are we're going to be uh, keeping our eye on that. What our hope is that some of these um, uh, maneuvers that seem to have taken place with the compression of the number of policies um, and some as, as well some pr maybe possible prevention of constitutional amendments coming forward. We we are going to be supporting co uh, the national councillors who are really speaking out about their commitment to. Uh, fair play and good governance. Right. And so um, we, we were supporting different national councillors from right across the country. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we've run out of time, but good luck with your efforts at this convention. And I guess we'll see you there virtually. Okay. Thanks, Tanya. Thank you.